What does it mean to be human? What is our purpose here on Earth besides using resources and dying? After all, we are quite a selfish, disillusioned species. We think that hedonistic pleasures like money, sex, and alcohol can satisfy us and give us happiness. But in the end, when we are drawing our last breaths on our deathbeds, we'll regret it all. Except, if we had the opportunity, we would go back and do the exact same things. For example, there's no way I'm going to be productive this summer, and there's no way that I will never make terrible decisions or focus on money and work more than I should. This is because we only recently evolved the deeper intellectual side of our brains, and most of what we do revolves around evolution and the instinct to survive. We crave sex because we have a need to reproduce or else we just go extinct. We need carbohydrates such as sugar, glucose, and fructose as a source of energy. Even something as fundamental as social contact is caused by our desire to share protection and trust. It's an example of mutualism. Everything we do, wow, evolutionary success shapes everything we do. It's like a god. The mere existence of each of us is mathematically impossible. Your mother had probably had a million ovules, and your father had trillions of sperm cells. The possibility that your mother and father would meet and further have sexual intercourse to produce a zygote that is one of the near infinite combinations of sperm cells and egg cells that bonded to form you. The odds of that are so slim that mathematicians would usually round that number to zero. This means that you are impossible. The odds of you just being alive is so much slimmer than winning the lottery or getting struck by lightning. Next time you complain about not being lucky, remember that you are one of the special 7 billion individuals that have survived in the human race. This means that each life is completely unique and extremely special here for specific paradigm shifting reasons it could be discovering fundamental scientific principles or committing mass murders both of them contribute to shaping the world although this is not me condoning mass violence don't go out shooting up a school okay and everything a person can give to the world must be achieved in about 81 years, the average lifetime of a Canadian person. To break that down, 81 years is 29,565 days to live. That means if you're, say, 15 years old, you've already lived 5,475 of those days. How many of those days were spent accomplishing goals and fulfilling dreams? How many of those days were spent cramming for a test? How many were spent in love? Hopefully not much, because you have to focus on your education! How will you use the remaining 24,090 days? Hopefully they'll be more productive, as you realize that you have now spent one-fifth of your life having temper tantrums, playing Call of Duty, and having temper tantrums on Call of Duty. Don't we just love those people? Because being human means that you have a limited time on Earth, and because that time is finite, that means it's extremely precious. Make the best out of every moment, no matter how mundane or how much you don't like it. Or pay the crap out of that diem, unless you're being like violently assaulted or raped or murdered, then just close your eyes and think about puppies as the light goes out.